Hey guys and welcome back to another how to tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make this really cool baby's room or baby's nursery. So guys stay tuned and I'm going to show you how you can make it. Right guys to make this really cool baby's room the first thing we're going to need to do is find an area of where we want to build our room. Now the cool thing about this room guys you can make this any size that you want it is totally up to you. The size of the room that I'm going to be building today is going to be eight blocks wide and nine blocks long. Now once you have found the area of where you want to build your room guys the first thing you need to do is fill up the floor like you can see right here. Now the floor block that I'm going to be using is dark oak planks. Now once you have filled the floor out in your room guys what we then need to do is start working on the walls of the room. Now starting on this left hand side right here what we're going to do is place down three pillared quartz blocks. So one, two, three just like that. Then we're going to get light blue concrete and we're going to place two light blue concrete on top of that. So one, two like that. So our wall is going to be five blocks high just like this. Now one cool thing guys you can change the color to whatever color you want. You can put your favorite color in if you want to it is totally up to you. Now this is the style of the wall that we're going to use for this whole room. So what we need to do is fill up this left side right here. We need to fill up this right side and we need to fill up the front right here leaving the back empty. So I'm going to start on this left side right here with the same style going all the way across and filling it up so we have a complete wall and I'm going to do that on the other sides as well. Once we have done that guys we should get something that looks like this. So the left side of the room is done. The right side of the room is done and the front wall of the room is done as well leaving the back wall completely empty because we're going to have a different style on the back wall. Now for this back wall right here guys what we're going to do is kind of build a mural for the back wall so it has a nice feature wall. So for this what we're going to use we're going to use our green concrete and we're going to put a line of green concrete at the bottom right there. Then starting from the right hand side over here we're going to get some brown concrete and we're going to put a piece of brown concrete right there. Then we're going to get some lime concrete and we're going to put three pieces of lime concrete right here and then one piece on top of it. Then what we're going to do is get our light blue concrete once again and fill it up all the way around the blocks that we just placed down. So as you might be able to tell guys this is kind of like a Minecraft mural for our wall. It looks like a Minecraft tree. We've got the grass at the bottom and we're also going to put a sun in the top right hand corner like this. So there we go guys. These are our four walls complete. We've got this star wall around these three walls right here and we've also got this mural on our back wall right here. So once we have done all of the walls guys it is time to start working on the interior of the room. So starting from this back wall right here what we are going to do first is put the crib where the baby sleeps. So make sure your crib is in the middle of the room and it's one block away from the back wall and we're going to place down a light blue bed right there. Then we're going to get some iron trap doors and all the way around this bed what we're going to do is place iron trap doors all the way around just like that. So as you can see these iron trap doors are kind of on the floor right now so what we need to do is power these trap doors so they flip up and it looks like a baby's crib. So to do that we need to go underneath where our bed is so dig down like three blocks like this and just clear out some space where you know the bed is. So I know the bed is in this area right here so I'm just going to clear out that space right there. Then underneath each one of these trap doors what we need to do is put an upside down lever to power these doors. So if I do it on this block right here then flip that you can see that it goes up so we need to do it on all these blocks right here on every one where there is a iron trap door so once we have done that we should have six levers like this and then just flip all of these levers and then if I jump back up the top like this we have something that looks like a baby's crib and I think it looks really really good. Now to add some light into your room guys what I recommend you do is grab yourself a sea lantern and then under, underneath one side of the bed right here so I'm just going to knock that block out there and there you can see is the bed. We're going to put a sea lantern right there just so it adds some extra light into our room. So once we have done that guys what we can then do is fill up the floor so we have no holes in our floor right there. So there we go guys we have our 
baby's crib. So what we're going to do now is work on a little play mat area in the middle of our room. Now to do that, we're going to need to grab ourselves a light blue shulker box, a yellow shulker box, a pink shulker box, and a lime green shulker box. Now starting one block away from the crib, what we're going to do, we're going to put a pink shulker box down like this. Then we're going to put a yellow shulker box, then a blue shulker box, then a green shulker box like that. And we're basically going to randomize the colors to make it look like a little play mat. So put the colors wherever you want. Like we're gonna place some blues down here, maybe another blue there. Then we're going to place a yellow like there and there. I'm just doing this completely random guys. There is no technique to it. Put a green there and another green there and then maybe put a pink there and yeah i think that looks good right there guys we have a little play area for our baby's room now starting on the right side of the room right here guys what we're going to do is put a shelving unit on this side right here so to do that we need to grab ourselves some quartz stairs and some quartz slabs now starting from the middle of this rug right here against this wall what we're going to do is place down a quartz stair like that then we're going to turn to the left place one right there and turn to the right and place one right there so they all connect together then we're going to go up one two three more stairs like this and we're going to do the same that we did at the bottom right there so turn them all into each other and then once we have done this guys we will see we get a really cool looking shelf unit right here now at the top what we're going to do is put three half slabs like that just to finish off the shelf unit so in a baby's room they do have some shelves where they put the toys and stuff and i think this looks really good to have in our room now starting on the left hand side wall over here we're going to put like a little cabinet where you could change the baby or something like that so grab your quartz stairs once again then in the middle starting from the middle of the rug against the room we're going to put an upside down stair right there then we're going to turn and place an upside down stair so it turns into it then we're going to turn once again to the left hand side and place another upside down stair so this is going to be our side table then what we're going to do is grab ourselves a light blue carpet and place three pieces of carpet on top again guys with the light blue you can make this any color you want you don't have to use light blue you can use your favorite color if you want to then above this table right here we're going to put a shelf now i'm going to get an iron trap door and place it on this block right here then i'm going to get myself some string blocks and place two pieces of string to the right of that right there then we're going to put the carpet on top of the iron trap door and then on top of the string and we have a shelf above our unit right here so as you can see guys the room is starting to come together we've got the baby's crib we've got the shelf unit and we've got the side unit over here now on this wall over here this is where our door is going to be so I'm going to knock out an area right here and we're going to place down our door so you can use any kind of door it's totally up to you and then I'm probably going to put a stair on top of it like that just to add some extra detail right there so this is our door to our bedroom and then on this wall right here just going to add a very simple chest of drawers so we're going to put some slabs down like this and then we're just going to make it like two blocks high like that then we're going to put some carpet on top and we're going to get some buttons as well and we're going to put these on front of the blocks like here so it looks like a chest of drawers so as you can see guys the room is pretty much complete but i think we can add some really nice details to this room just to finish it off so over in this left corner over here i'm going to add a pile of toys and we're going to do this in a very unique way so starting off in this left corner right here we need to knock out these three blocks right here like this then we need to go down again so it's a two deep hole like this then we need to get some snow layers now these blocks are right here and at the bottom of this hole here what we need to do is place down two snow layers on this block then three snow layers on this block then four snow layers on this block so it's two three and four then once we have done that guys we need to grab ourselves an armor stand now we need to place an armor stand facing backwards on this block right here so you might need to click a few times to get it down right there then we need to do it on the same side on this one so we need to face it backwards it's very important that they are facing backwards and not forwards like that then we need to grab ourselves some pistons and some redstone blocks and then a fence as well and then with our fence what we're going to do is place our fence in this corner and we're going to push each one of these armor stands into this fence so to do that we obviously need to put our pistons behind each one of these armor stands then we need to just break a block on top of the piston 
power it with our redstone block and as you can see it pushes them in to the fence then what we need to do is break the pistons first then break the redstone blocks and then break the fence so as you can see these two armor stands are pushed very closely together now and that is exactly what we want so what we can do now is kind of repair our wall here so all these holes that we dug out we can repair it and make sure it all matches up nicely then finally what we're going to do is place an armor stand in the middle between these two armor stands right here so to do that what we need to do is place a block above them like this then place an armor stand there then destroy this block so it drops into the hole right there so we have three armor stands in this position right here then i recommend that you grab yourself three different colors of leather helmets i'm using pink yellow and blue then we're going to put each helmet on each one of these armor stands so just right click with your helmet and put it on each one of these armor stands and as you can see guys it makes a little pile of helmets which kind of looks like toys in the corner then we need to cover up these holes in the ground so grab yourself some dark dark oak slabs it's very important that you use slabs and not full blocks otherwise these armor stands will look very dark and you will not be able to see the color now place the slabs above where the holes are in the ground like this then grab yourself some pistons and make the pistons face down into each one of these slabs like that then grab yourself a redstone block and power these pistons like that then put any block in the gap in the middle then power them once again and there we go guys we can destroy all of these blocks and once i've destroyed them you can see we have like a pile of toys in the corner and it adds a really nice detail to the room so what we can also do guys if you don't want to use any armor stands or anything like that we can get ourselves some heads and we can put like a creeper head in this corner right here and we can put a zombie head in this corner right here as well and also guys if you have access to command blocks or you can use custom commands in your game we can add a custom plushie in the corner now i did a video on a custom plushie guys and you can go and watch that tutorial i will put a card up in the corner but what i'm going to do right here is put a plushie right in this corner right here so i have the command copied and the command will be in the description guys so all you need to do is copy and paste once you have the command inside of your chat right here guys all you need to do is press enter and that will summon a little miniature armor stand as you can see right here the same as what we did in my plushy tutorial then what we can do is put any custom head and any armor on it whatever you choose to do i'm going to be using elmo as my toy for my plushy in my room and i'm going to put an elmo head on it then i'm going to put some red armor some red boots and a red chest plate and then we have a custom elmo plushy in our bedroom right there so there we go guys a really cool detailed baby's room now i know some of you guys will want to see the room fully complete with a ceiling so there we go guys i have put some quartz blocks as the ceiling and i've also added a window in over here if you do not want to add the shelf you can put a window and for some extra lighting around the room i've added some carpet around so it looks like some clothes folded up on the floor and underneath these carpet we have some sea lanterns just to add that extra hidden lighting around the room but there we are guys a fully complete baby's nursery or baby's room and remember you can make it any color you want to guys it is totally up to you all of the commands for the custom plushies and everything like that will be in the description also but guys if you enjoyed this tutorial today and you want to see more just like it and you never want to miss an upload from me all you need to do is click on the little bell symbol next to the subscribe button and you will be notified every time i upload a brand new tutorial but guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you again in another how to tutorial